I've been putting new lights on this old Easy Go golf cart. It's a 1987 model. Just paid a few hundred bucks for it. So I ain't really worried about how much it looks, but I want to have some lights on it so I can see at night. And it had these old fluorescent lights on it, and they didn't work no more. So I went to Walmart and bought a set of cheap LED uh, fog lights. They're made to go on your car. They work perfectly on here. I'm just going to kind of show you some tips on wiring them up because uh, this golf cart's 36 volt. It has six six volt batteries in it and the the lights are 12 volts so with with these lights right here they got two wires coming out of them you got your your power wire and your ground wire so that's pretty easy just cut the old wires figure out which ones the hot and which ones the ground wire which when you have black and white the white's supposed to be your ground now what i did i followed all the wires back in this thing to make sure that that was correct because you don't know some people may mess up the wire and it was hook them up and flip the switch and see right there they work now on the back of it it's got this old red light back here wires ain't hooked up to it and I'm going to change it out for our LED light too because the LEDs burn a whole lot less power with it being an electric golf cart. I, would, I prefer to have LEDs on it so it ain't drawing so much power off the battery. But one thing you have to do is make sure you have everything wired up right. A lot of these lights like this, they're made for like utility trailers and they'll only have one wire that comes out of them for the, uh, for the hot wire and they ground through the bolt. Well, since the golf cart is 36 volt, you cannot ground to the frame like that through the screw hole because then it'll be getting 36 volts. You can get voltage reducers that wire into your golf cart. They'll turn that 36 volt to 12 volts. This one doesn't have one on it, and I plan on getting one. But in the meantime, what I did was run the, uh, the wires by from two... Um, two six volt batteries that's in consecutive order to give me 12 volts. I have the hot wire wired in at the main positive lead and then go to the negative terminal, follow it over and it goes to this positive terminal on this next battery. Then I went to the negative terminal on it. I came off this negative terminal for my ground for all of them. And I purchased this red LED uh, utility trailer light and it only has one wire that comes out for the for the power. And then it's supposed to ground through your bolt holes. And pull this cap off very carefully. Pull the reflective cone out. And, on, and basically what happens is your bolt, bolts go through these holes. And it's got that, that brass ring around them. And your bolts contact that. And then the other end of your bolt where nut is, it goes to the other side of your mounting place. Grounds to the frame of the, of the vehicle that you're putting it on. So we got to do something different here to be able to hook up to this 36 volt golf cart. I'm going to remove this center screw right here to remove the circuit board. So that to the side. Gonna pull this wire out so basically my idea is I'm gonna get me another piece of wire and I'm gonna solder it to this brass ring right here and that way I'll have a wire for the uh, for the ground instead of grounding through the bolt that I can hook to the rest of my light system and instead of running bolts through here which would ground it back out to the frame I'm going to take this cover and I'm going to drill me two new holes in here and get some pretty shallow head screws that will fit lower than this where the circuit board sits. Mount this, mount my circuit board back in it, put everything back together. I'm going to be using this Rosin Core 4060 uh, solder with soldering iron while my 
soldering iron's heating up right here. I'm going to go ahead and prep me a piece of wire. Since my power wire for my light is black, I'm going to use white for the ground wire because when you have a black and white wire together, your black represents your power, your white represents your ground, so that way I can keep track of it that way. I'm going to cut me off a piece of this wire. Since I got plenty of it, I'm going to cut me a pretty good sized piece. And I'm going to go ahead and strip one end of it to solder to it. I'm going to wait to strip the other end until I get ready to wire it up on the vehicle. Just twist that wire real good. I got a couple. I can solder on either one of these. I'm looking at the casing that it goes in and the uh, positive wire goes to this little hole up here and there's another empty hole up here so I'm going to solder to this side and run it out that hole I ran my wire through the front of the hole towards the back flipped it over I'm just trying to lay that wire around that, that brass rim right there make sure it's on there good all right Tends the end of the soldering iron. I'm gonna start heating it up. Really need a better soldering iron. This one ain't too swift, but it gets you by in a pinch. Let that cool for a couple minutes. Now that I got it soldered, I let it cool for a few minutes. Give it just a little tug. Make sure it's secure on there and it feels good. I've got my old light off up here. We're just going to say it was one Dickens to get off. That, that bolt was rusted up pretty good on that nut. It really was a pain. Got a couple new uh, bolts and nuts. It's got a pretty shallow head on it. Kind of matching up that lip right there. It looks like it'll be just below that lip where the circuit board sits. I believe these will work just fine. Found a drill bit just the right size. I'm gonna drill me a couple holes in this. I'm gonna match up the housing about where I want it. Trying to find me a good spot to put it. I think I like it right there. Go ahead and drill the first hole. Basically, just using the drill to make a little mark on the metal. I move it out of the way. Got the first hole. Line it back up with the hole. You could stick the bolt in there too. I'm just gonna get it close like this. Get it where I want it. Mark the second one. take my bolts make sure they line up right stick the first one in there and the second one all right now I'm going to put the circuit board back into the housing I'm going to fish my wires through the holes very carefully not to damage anything and this one doesn't want to go through well there it goes it's 
a little tight, it's a little bit thicker wire than the than the power wire. I have to position this in here where it fits right. Now I'm going to push the wires back just a little bit to give me some slack. I want to make sure everything fitted correctly. I'm going to get just enough slack in here where I can get my screws to mount them in. Stick one in. It has a couple notches back here to run the wires out of. So just kind of laid in the framework right there in the back of it. Fish it around. You may have to fumble with it a little bit. Or I can go out right there. I'm going to go out right there. I'm going to have this one going out right there. Pick my bolt free. Put the wires back in place. I wanted them. I'm going to hold the back side nut with the wrench. Tighten up the screws from the front. Just going to snug it up. I don't want to crack that plastic. other side on. That wire got loosened that back up. I want to keep them wires in the grooves they're supposed to be in so I don't wind up pinching it and shorting it out. wire on tight in there. Lay that circuit board down. I'm going to put that little screw back in it. Put my reflective cone back in it. And put the outer cover back on. It's mounted and it's tight. Wish I got it pushed down good all the way. Now all that's left is to wire it up. Good idea. You want a, a, you don't want power going to your wiring system that you're hooking into. You can disconnect the main cables that go to the cart, or I just pull the inline fuse out. It has an inline fuse housing right here for my lights. So I just pull that fuse out and I'll cut the power to it. All right, I have my wires that are tied in to the rest of the uh, lighting circuit. Just keeping in mind. These that go to the rest circuit, I got red and black, red's the hot, black's the ground. With this, with having black and white, black's my power, and white is my ground. And strip these wires and connect them up. Now I'm gonna take some black electrical tape and wrap up these connections. I'm gonna take some zip ties and tie these wires up up under the underpending, keep them out of the way. Last thing to do is put the fuse back in, flip the switch, and see what we got. Sure enough, it's working. Just wanna make sure you got good connections and I'm gonna go around all these other connections that's on this golf cart and tape them all up to help keep moisture out of them. So that's the final product right there. Now I'm just going to use this around the house. You may use it to hunt with. This will help at night if I'm moving around the house or near the road or whatever. I got something to light it up. I'm probably later going to go and put another one on the other side. But that gives me something right there that other people can see me with. I hope this video helps you. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.